Welcome back. We are here on Etero looking at the uh, indices, and this is going to be my daily forecast for Monday, March 29th, 2021. If you like to support the channel, you're welcome to hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button and the bell button to see your newest videos, and you're welcome to join us over here at Etero where you can follow our trades and also copy our trades. The link is down below. So we'll start by looking at the S&P 500, and as you can see on uh, Thursday, we did fall below the 50 moving average uh, just to basically rally significantly on Friday. We're trading at 3,974 at this current stage. We most likely run into resistant, around, give or take, around uh, 4,000. If we break below the 50 moving average, then the very bottom here is give or take 3,792. This is a very bullish shine for the S&P 500. Technical indicators there are also all turning around at this current stage. So it's most likely that we're going to head towards the 4,000 level before we have other, basically, if we have a breakout to the upside or a break towards the bottom of the bullish band at this current stage. So let's look at the Dow Jones. So the Dow Jones, very similar here. We broke below the bottom, uh, the middle of the bullish band, I was supposed to say, and then we rallied significantly. Target here is the top of the bullish band, which is at 33,574. If we break down from here, we'll most likely find support at the 20 exponential moving average and the 50 moving average, and even down here at the very bottom of the bullish band. Technical indicators are looking very bullish for the Dow Jones. So this may well be as far as this basically dropped at this current stage. And now we're heading back towards the top of the bullish band before going back down. So let's look at the NASDAQ. So the NASDAQ is not looking as promising as the S&P 500 and the Dow Jones. Definitely not. We This is really struggling both at the 50 moving average at the 20 exponential moving average we have not managed to break uh, above the 50 moving average after several attempts we have a one two three uh, four five attempts or six attempts you can also see here and we have not managed to break above that we also made attempt to break above the 20 exponential moving, moving average on friday and still did not manage that so at this current stage we need basically to break above the 50 moving average in order to go to 14,000. Um, if we break below the middle layer of the Bullinger band, then we'll probably go to the very bottom at 12,400, uh, give or take, and then probably towards the 200 moving average. Technical indicators, they are all over the place. So NASDAQ has been absolutely horrible to trade in March. Um, it's just a continuation of just, it doesn't really know where it's, suppo where it's supposed to go. There are uh, companies that have are basically significantly overvalued in the Nasdaq at this current stage, or the stocks are. And um, you, if you look at the, the stocks that are are in the uh, in the in the Nasdaq, then you basically see what I mean that they are extremely volatile. People are don't know whether or not to sell them or to basically buy them at this point. Uh, increase of 10, 15, 20 percent uh, on a given day, basically several times a week. That is not really good for, for this indice. So if you look at the, the technical indicators, we can see that the RSI is technically a little bit bullish. CCI is becoming bullish. Stochastic is bearish at this point. And the MACD is still above the signal line, but is flat at this current stage. So we need basically this to break above the 50 moving average and the green candlestick above the 50 in order to go to 14,000 and probably to 15,000 in the long run break below these previous candlesticks here, that opens the door to the very bottom of the Bulliger band and then to the 200 moving average. So let's look at the German DAX. So the German DAX is uh, looking really bullish. So we had this massive rally here, traded sideways, uh, and then we basically bounced from the 20 exponential. So this is a really bullish shine. However, pullbacks at this point should be expected at least when we get towards the top of the bullish band. We are overbought in the in the DAX and um, other than that, technical indicators are still very bullish. So it may have a run towards the top of the bullish band that is give or take 15,000 and then pull back towards the 20 exponential before going higher at this point. If break below the 20 exponential, that opens the door to the 50 uh, moving average that is at 14,000. Uh, 125. So let's look at the UK 100. 
let's see so same thing here broke down significantly underneath the 50 moving average on thursday and then rallied significantly so at this point we're trading at 6767 and the technical indicators they are all turning around it's only the macd that's still on the signal line but also that looks like it's going to cross so this has not made massive movements to the upside we are in a slight uptrend is that a significant uptrend um, similar to what we saw here and here it is almost going sideways but we're still in an uptrend slowly going up towards the 7000 um, so at this point yes pullbacks towards the 50 and the 20 exponential that has been working uh, to buy into those uh, break below uh, the previous lows here we're all the way down to 6000 500 give or take then that could open the door to the to 200 moving average at 6300 uh, but we are really far away from that and it, everything points to the this going to higher levels so hope you find this helpful you're welcome to support our channel by subscribing hit the like button and the bell button to see our newest videos and you're welcome to join us over here at eTrue good luck and thank you very much Thank you.